Is this on? Okay, I think it's on. Hi. <laughs> Let's say it's on. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Where do I even start? Okay, all right. It's three o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. What I call the needy hour. That fragile time between school pickup and dinner. Dora has once again refused to take a nap. So any attempt I might have made at cooking or cleaning or whatever has been completely quashed. This past week, she's developed a preternatural ability to survive without sleep, both day and night, and we're both completely exhausted. In fact, I am feeling as sleep deprived as I did when she was a newborn, and instead of taking my morning vitamin, I swallowed a vaginal suppository. And I think I'm getting sick. And tomorrow just happens to be my birthday, but I ignore this massive headache and the tightness in my chest. And I buckled Dora into her car seat for the short drive to pick up her brother at school. And of course, as soon as I back out of the driveway, she falls asleep. Okay, so now it's 3.15 and true to form, my nine-year-old son, refuses to leave the premises of his school. George, honey, you can't play baseball right now, remember? It's Wednesday. He screams at me in front of all of the other nice parents. No, mom, I can't believe you're doing this. Why? It's the most important game of my life. You're ruining it. So apparently I am ruining both the game and his life. <laughs> Even though it's now spring and the school year is almost over, it would seem in George's mind, each day happens afresh without any recollection of all of the rules and routines and schedules and requirements of all of the previous days so that the memory say that on Wednesdays mom picks me up from school and we go grocery shopping has absolutely no relevance for him. Oh god and we really 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 do need to go grocery shopping because this is what's in my cupboard. A bag of stale cranberries, a package of whole wheat spaghetti, a very old box of falafel mix, and some grain that I bought in bulk several years ago and have no idea how to cook it, or even what it is. It looks like couscous, but it is not, I assure you. As I hustle George into the car, his tirade continues, so of course, he wakes Dora up. Okay, so now it's like 3.30, and we've arrived in the vicinity of the grocery store triangle. That is Hannaford, Wild Oats, and Whole Grocer. And I'm once again thrown into my weekly dilemma. To which of these establishments in the grocery store triangle should I give up our scant and hard-earned clams? That deep dark ache in my head has now rooted behind my eyes and from it a decision tree begins to sprout above my head and it looks something like this. If I go to Hannaford, it's the least expensive, and they have those red plastic shopping carts that look like sports cars for the kids. But George will throw a fit in the candy aisle, and, well, frankly, he smashes into other shoppers. If I go to Wild Oats, it's so flippin' expensive, I'll blow my whole wad there, but they do have the deli, and the kids are definitely getting hungry, but... Oh God, no, 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 because if they don't have the chicken wings, then Dora will scream bloody murder again. If I go to Whole Grocer, it's nice and small and not so overwhelming. And oh, yes, they have those mango raspberry popsicles that have saved me before. The kids backseat bickering about snacks, George wanting chocolate, Dora being allergic to it. Crescendos into all out yelling when Dora screams, George, you dumb boy, mama, George is hoarding my feelings. And, you know, I shut it down. I shut it down with grace and maturity by shrieking, Knock it off, the both of you! Knock it off right now or you will get nothing and like it! It's now 3.37. We're inside 
the whole grocer. And I'm alerted to the dwindling window of time I have to provide nourishment to my charges. When my daughter's speech regresses to that of a toddler speaking a crude caveman language. She sits on her perch uh, on, in the shopping cart, banging her fists, chanting, Me, Hung Gui, me, what tweet, me, Hung Gui, me, what, and George catches a free ride, hanging off the side so that if I take a hand off the shopping cart to, for example, reach for a food item, I will upset this delicate but crazy symbiotic balance here, and the cart will flip over and my daughter will crack her head open. So, I cut my losses, hightail it over to the frozen food section, where I grab a couple of those mango raspberry popsicles from the frosty chamber. I rip the wrappers off like a crack addict trembling for a hit, pass them to the kids, and then... <sighs> Yes, sweet silence. I calculate that I now have approximately seven minutes max in which to round up the ingredients I'll need to provide a tasty but nourishing meal that evening. I grab a jar of organic marinara to go with the Hoyt spaghetti at home and some of those greens in a bag, AKA salad. It is now 3.42. We're at the register and the pierced and tattooed cashier takes a disapproving gander at my kids who are greedily licking the mango raspberry popsicle juice off the popsicle sticks before they pass me the sticky wrappers for scanning. Then they rush the cart corral, climb the gate, hang upside down, and start howling like monkeys. And I just know that this cashier is judging me and my food choices and my wild offspring and I am suddenly overcome with the urge to drop to my knees and beg for mercy, please. I am a fragile and vulnerable human being. Please take pity on me. But instead, after four failed attempts to remember my pin, I write a check for the groceries, roughly equivalent to my hubby's weekly salary, balance the bags of food, waltz the kids out the door, and just as I am buckling Dora's car seat again, an alarm goes off in my head. It's actually just my phone. Hello? Hey, hon! How's it going? It's my hubby, sounding calm. I'm, I'm just leaving the store and I have a splitting headache and I <coughs> can barely breathe and I think I might be running a fever. How are you? Oh, that's too bad, hon. You know, because I'm doing, I'm doing fine. You know, actually, I'm doing great. This conference today was really inspiring. I went to a session on organizing space. You see, this is how people sound after they've been sitting on their butts for eight hours listening to some expert who gets paid big bucks telling other people how to manage their environments. So I know you said no gifts for your birthday this year, but I'm thinking we should hire this woman to come to the house, you know, and help us get everything organized, get everything cleaned up and uncluttered trying to let his groovy vibes wash over me, but it's too late. I can feel the snakes starting to emerge from my head. <laughs> Help us get everything fucking cleaned up? <laughs> fucking uncluttered? What the fuck do you think I do all day long? My whole fucking life is about organizing our sorry asses. Oh, holy shit. Ah. ah. Ow. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so uh that happened. Passed out right in the grocery store parking lot. You know, I try to talk to my mom about this stuff, and every single time she just says, well, you're the one who chose to stay home with them. But this time she said, you know, maybe you should go back to making some of those angsty comics like you used to when you were a teenager. Or, you know, why don't you just get some friends you can vent to? God, I hate it when she's right. So, hi. Any other house rows out there? Thank you.